What's going on you guys, it's Motorcycle Boss again. Now this time I'm gonna be taking care of a rear brake that doesn't wanna work anymore. I was sitting on a hill in traffic, used my rear brake to stop me from sliding down the hill and it just had no pressure whatsoever. It took me a while to notice since I only use it in emergency situations. So let's get that fixed. Hopefully it's just air in the system and some old brake fluid and then I'll get it working again. But uh, worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to rebuild the master cylinder. So we'll see how that goes. Let's get into it. And if you guys have any beard tips, if you happen to have a beard, please let me know down in the comments. This is my first beard and I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> please let me know if you guys have any tips or anything you can use to help me. Thanks. You should be using gloves for this process, however, I don't have any. The brake fluid can be carcinogenic, so you want to keep your hands off of it as much as possible. First things first, you're going to want to evacuate all of the brake fluid outside of the reservoir, so that way when you add new fluid and pump it through the system, it's not mixing with old fluid. Get your hose, preferably silicone. It'll make this job a lot easier and fit it as tightly as you can around the bleed nipple. The job is pretty easy. You're going to pump the lever a few times and then apply pressure and hold that pressure. While holding pressure, you're gonna crack that bleed nipple and let some of the old fluid come out and then close it back up. Begin pumping again and repeat the process. While you do this, you're gonna notice that your level is gonna drop inside the reservoir, so make sure it stays topped up and you don't let the system suck in air. Just fill your reservoir level back up to where it was before you started and you're good to reassemble. If you guys would like to know where to pick up this awesome screwdriver, I'm telling you it's gonna be the last one you'll ever buy. Links will be in the description so you can go ahead and pick that up as well as anything else I use in this video. Brake fluid is supposed to be the color of vegetable oil where this is not. All right, you guys, that was pretty much it. Pretty anticlimactic, if I'm being honest. But this was something that was supposed to be done very simple. I actually kind of thought about not shooting a video on it, but I haven't done anything really brake related in a little bit. So I felt like you guys would enjoy just a little bit of turning wrenches. It was only one bleed nipple, one caliper, and it addressed the issue. I can already tell just by moving the tire on the stand that it's solved the problem. It wasn't able to do that before, so. Fortunately, that's good. I don't have to do the master cylinder rebuild, so I'm really happy about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are looking for a more in-depth way on exactly how to go about bleeding brakes, I'll have that linked in the description. You'll actually probably see it uh, near the end of the video. You'll actually see a video you can click on where I'll show you exactly how to bleed brakes. But if you guys enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments, or if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. I'll see if I can make a video for it, and I'll see you guys next time.